Hi Eileen, this is this homework problem you uh, sent me an email about and it has to do with uh, solving a contingency table and uh, in this case they're asking for relative uh, frequencies uh, or a percentage for a uh, intersection in, in the table of this I think they're looking for employed but not a high school graduate. So we've got our count is 8.1 and we want to know what is the percentage and you can do it of course uh, using Excel the long ways but StatCrunt makes, makes it very easy. Let's first of all click on the little icon. We're going to copy that data into StatCrunch and now we've got our our data. We've got our row labels employed unemployed not in the labor market and then we've got our column labels not high school high school some college associates so let's go to stat tables contingency with summary now this is a summary this isn't raw data this is the summary data so we bring up this dialog and we need to um, pick the columns that we're interested in and we're going to pick all four just by clicking on it, holding down the shift key. And we're going to hit all four of our columns that we're interested in because we want to get the entire contingency table. Our row labels are in that first column called status. We can ignore the column labeling group by. And you've got a lot of options here. Um, if, if you're doing the complete contingency table, you would pick more of these. Uh, right now I'm just going to pick two. I'm going to pick the percent of total which is what they asked for. Well, Let's just do that to begin with and I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, chi-square just for the heck of it. Uh, the hypothesis test pick. And we click on compute. And we got to expand this in order to see all the data. Uh, I gotta go some more. There we go. I don't know why it stretched. Oh, I can see why I had that big long title there. And we're looking for the percentage uh, that is both employed and not a high school grad. And it gives us right there 4.42%. And I think if we looked at their answer, yeah, what did you come up with? You got 9.9. .9. I'm not sure how you did that unless you manually calculated these things. But anyway, that's that's how you get the percentages. If they ask you for the expected counts, just go back into your options, edit, and this time let's click on expected count, click on compute, and we'll get that data come up. And it tells you here in this little um, legend the actual count and the expected count, and in that employed not high school the actual count was 8.1 but the expected count was 16.93 that's a big difference and if you look across here we've got quite a few big differences and that will tell you, that tells you why the chi-square hypothesis test is significant which tells you that there is a difference in the actual and the expected. So that test is significant and we would reject the null hypothesis. But again you can go back and forth. Uh, if we edit this and uh, we can get our row percent. I'm going to really junk it up here and compute and uh, it may look like it's unintelligible but you can actually uh, get all this information there by again looking at the legend we've got the count the row percent the column percent the percent of total which is what this question was and the expected count so you've got all the data you need to answer any contingency table problem that you might have hope this helps